This short video may help operators to get the best from their new Hill Tefra coupler. Start the attachment sequence by operating the control switch. Its location will vary from machine to machine. Note that the coupler must be crowded towards the operator for it to function. There's a valve in the hydraulic cylinder which will prevent the coupler from opening unless this is done. Once both hooks have been fully retracted, the coupler can be used to connect to the front attachment pin. The coupler should be rotated to the fully crowded position so that the attachment rests upon the bottom of the coupler. This ensures that the rear pin is in the correct position for engagement. The control switch can then be switched off. Operate the crowd control lever towards the fully crowded position for about five seconds to pressurize the hydraulics, causing the coupler to close. Finally, always test the attachment connection for security by pushing the attachment towards the ground and try to force the attachment off the coupler. To commence the release operation, again bring the dipper arm towards you and also rotate the coupler in the same direction, such that the coupler is inverted. Coupler release should be carried out at 50% RPM or less. Briefly release the hydraulic control and operate the release switch to power the coupler control. Now operate the hydraulic control lever again to move the coupler towards the fully crowded position for about eight seconds to pressurize the hydraulics. This will now retract the coupler hooks. The attachment may now be safely placed on the ground and fully disengaged. The coupler may now be placed in a safe position by returning the release switch to the off position. Note that while in this example the hooks are being powered into the closed position, the action of the springs in the Hill APS system will return the hooks to the closed position even when the machine is switched off. This return to safe feature means that the hooks are never disengaged unless the operator intends them to be so.